So once again, we're taking advantage of this question to uh, uh, to help a few more people here. So um, we're going to make a number of videos on this particular topic, which is quite important, how to assess um, what you can do with a client and how to do it realistically and where are the best areas of the face that you can treat to get maximum results. Because once again, you're not going to be able to get a mini, a mini facelift as such um, or a facelift. It does not exist. You can get some skin tightening, especially localized skin tightening. So let's have a look at this. So we've been asked, what can we do with this particular client? And this is a very, very good example. What I actually do, first of all, I mean, when you see somebody um, uh, like this particular person, you would like to to focus on the lower eyelids here on this area because she's going to get a good tightening there. And um, you cannot get rid of the expression lines, but you're very likely going to get a very good result there. So lower eyelids, cross feet and upper eyelids. So first thing first. Then if she says, well, I want to improve this area here. Again, there's, it's not as if you can um, do much uh, for it. All you can do is um, you can place the spots all throughout the face uh, up until uh, almost the uh, the attachment of the face, well, uh, the area close to the, the ears and, uh, and so on. Because then that tightening, localized skin tightening is maybe going to get a slightly pulling effect. But it's not as if, if you place the, the dots there, just in between the two uh, marionette, between the marionette lines, then you're going to get extremely good results. Then if there's a lot of wrinkles on the upper eyelids and uh, on the chin, then you can do that as well. So in this particular case, I would recommend, first of all, go for the lower eyelids, upper eyelids, do both because she's very likely going to get very good results, both lower, cross feet, lower eyelids, cross feet and upper eyelids. And then if you have time, carry out and do the whole face, 100%. Um, that's what I would recommend. But manage the expectations for there's no uh, many facelift. It does not exist with plasma. You get minimum um, improvements. But what you get is a better improvement in this, in this particular area. And then if there's, um, and then if there's localized wrinkles, you can, um, you can improve the appearance of wrinkles but we're gonna see um very good uh, results and um, real results coming in um because we've uh, treated lots of people in, uh, in south africa which we, we have all the footage but we're getting the after picture and hopefully we've got all the before as well so we're uh, starting to build the uh, the case studies which should come up in the in the next uh, few months so um, hopefully this video has been uh, useful. Um, we just uh, want to take um, this as an opportunity to to help a few more people when they are assessing their clients for uh, plasma skin tightening.